Houston, the U.S. Supreme Court on Tuesday pardoned a Texas prisoner sentenced to death for stabbing an 85-year-old woman more than two decades ago, continuing a more than four-month delay in the country's busiest state during coronavirus pandemic. Last year, the Texas prison system prevented priests from entering the death room after the Supreme Court prevented the execution of another prisoner, Patrick Murphy, who asked a Buddhist advisor to enter the room. On Friday, the U.S. Court of Appeals canceled the suspension of the case, which involved a request by Mr. Gutierrez for a DNA test in which he said the real killer in his charges that his religious rights had been violated. The Supreme Court announced that it would allow the suspension until the Supreme Court decided at Gutierrez's request to accompany the spiritual mentor to the death room. With Murphy's sentencing, the Texas prison system changed its policy and allowed prison guards only to be placed in the execution room. Gutierrez's lawyers also asked for a delay in the coronavirus, but the Texas Court of Appeals refused on Friday. Cameron County attorney Louis Sayens called Gutierrez's calls blocking tactics. Prosecutors said the request for DNA analysis was a ruse and that Gutierrez was convicted on the basis of several evidence, including a confession. Reporters Without Borders said, although the number of IWID-19 cases and hospitalizations in Texas continued to rise, the state prison authorities stated that they had taken precautionary measures to anticipate executions, including taking participants' temperatures and providing personal protective equipment. The Texas Department of Criminal Justice has changed its policy for convenience. But peace of mind at the time of death is not convenience, it's a legally protected right, said Sean Nolan, one of Mr. Gutierrez's executioners. He was supposedly the first prisoner in Texas to receive a lethal injection since February. Correction of the date of execution to June 16th instead of June 15th. This undated photograph, provided by the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, shows Ruben Gutierrez. The Texas Conference of Catholic Bishops submitted a case to the Supreme Court in favor of Gutierrez, 